people were like, hey, kids can't do this hike, and I did it. You're amazing. I cannot believe we found a secret beat. Hair on my nose. There's hair in your nose? Up in there? Why do you think that happened? I don't know. Maybe it's because you're turning five tomorrow. Yeah. Did you put the hair in there? No, oh, I didn't. Should we brush your hair in there? No. Should we cut it? No. I think that you've always had some hair in your nose. Actually. When I, when I was four. Mm -hmm. So today we are venturing further west on the island, which we have never done before. We heard about a fun place called La Cueva del Indio. We're gonna go check it out. We're doing some car school this morning and learning about Puerto Rico while we drive. Okay, this book is totally interesting. It says that Puerto Rico became a U.S. territory in 1898 and then it became a U.S. commonwealth in 1952. I'm still learning the difference between all these things. We didn't make it to our destination yet, but we had to stop. Look at this view on our drive. These waves are ginormous. What are you thinking? I want to go and play in the ocean. I don't know if these waves are safe. Holy cow! So some of the roads here in Puerto Rico are super skinny and a big truck was just coming and it gets a little intense. Every day's an adventure, every moment. Jeremy's a pretty great driver, we're grateful. And yes guys, our windshield totally has a crack in it. More ocean! I can't get enough of the ocean. Are you writing your name twice? Caleb, Caleb. Caleb, Caleb, Caleb. The water is unusually rough today. It's Which is fun, it's beautiful. I can feel the water. This is just absolute chaos in here. Watch out. It's coming! <laughs> oh my god. Kendra, you have to see this! <laughs> this is insane! <laughs> we got a little wet. Nene, the explorer! Through the bushes. She's naturally adventurous. She wants to try it all. Check it out! There's a hole in the rock. The rock makes an arch. So there's just this huge hole all the way down to the bottom right here. Man, I knew in Arizona they had these cactus, but I didn't think they were here in Puerto Rico. This is what we came to see. Oh, we were on the arch. Yes. Guys, that's where we were standing. <laughs> oh my goodness. More adventuring. So a big wave came and crashed. We got some ocean spray on us. We're not soaked, we're totally fine. It's so fun. We just want to get closer and closer to the water. It's coming in, Cub. <laughs> it came up. hard to stop filming because it's so odd and smart. I'm just not used to this. Like, we're playing on a beach and that's happening over there. That's amazing. It's beautiful. Look, Laura wrote her name. Uh -huh. Good job, Laura. Did you build a tunnel? Yeah. <laughs> it worked. The tunnel worked. It's gone. Oh. Well, we can build it again. It so <laughs> Laura, what you doing? 
Ooh, a foot massage. Foot massage maybe. This is the spot. Not in my full life, I don't think I've ever had this much fun at the beach. What's making it so fun? Um, I like how we're trying to stop it and all the adventurous stuff. I cannot believe we found a secret beach. Nene loves the drone. Yeah, it goes up. Fun, huh? Up. I just can't get enough. It's amazing how going back, everyone is so much more brave. Looks like we're earning more courage points every day. What an adventure. Is that the drop? Stay back. Janae insisted on walking. She is such a big girl and quite the hiker. How you doing? Just Good. walking, Mom. Well, I'm really proud of our kids and I'm proud of our family. You know, that was something that was adventurous and made you a little bit nervous, but we also were able to work together as a team and, you know, choose the safest paths and stay away from the edge. And the kids listened and obeyed instructions, which is really important and does not always happen. So, we had a fun family. This was Halormius fun. What does Halormius fun mean? We'll see. We'll see? All right. It's in gibberish. It's in gibberish? In Lekodor Is that your own language? <laughs> there was a little bit of sea spray. You're good, it was just some sea spray. You're good. Laura, you're such a brave four-year-old. One time people were like, hey, kids can't do this hike. It's uh, too long and I did it. You're amazing. And your birthday's tomorrow. Yep, and I'm turning five. You are turning five. Well, I think I got a little bit too much sun. I forgot to spray sunscreen on myself. I put it on the kids and Jeremy put it on himself. Not and I was like, oh, I think we're only gonna be a short time. The sunscreen was running out and I wanted to make sure I did the kids first and then I just didn't put it on. So yeah, I think I have way too much sun. But we're headed back on the driver starting a new read aloud, which is 101 Dalmatians. I can hear the liquid inside. I can too. Are you gonna crack that thing open? Yeah. He'll grab the broom handle. He's determined to get into the coconut. Yeah, I need a stronger rock. I officially did get a sunburn. Oh, my neck got burnt really badly. So that's hard here because we're constantly in the water. We're actually supposed to go swimming with friends this afternoon. Don't worry, we came home in the middle. The kids did their schoolwork. Janae took a nap, but now we're headed to the pool. So luckily, I have this long sleeve swimsuit. I haven't actually worn it before. and. I'm so excited to have it because it covers up my sunburn really well so I can protect my skin and still go swimming. Kendra and the kids are at the pool with some friends, having fun, trying to get dinner ready before they come home, but I don't think I'm quite gonna make it. One of the first things we bought when we got here to Puerto Rico was color-coordinated cups for the kids so they each had their own cup. We've been loving that. All right, it's not boiling as much as I want, but I can't wait anymore. It's just like baby boiling. <laughs> Boil little noodles. Boil. Did you play on the sand? You did. She the big girl. The you walked around. You're getting braver and braver. Our pool we made. Oh, they made a pool for you. It was really adorable. Let's feed you and get you to bed. No, no bed, uh -uh, no dad. All right, so Jeremy did all the prep work. I'm doing the final touches. We actually decided to mix the chicken, the broccoli, the pesto, the Parmesan cheese, the Italian cheese, and the noodles all together. I think it works. It's so good. By the way, I love this swimsuit. Oh, Thank you. the noodles are done. Good. I must have hit snooze. I hate when that happens. Why is the snooze button so much bigger than the stop button? I hit it on accident all the time. I don't want the snooze button. I want to just stop the alarm. It happens to me every time. Okay, you hungry? Let's do yes, this. my favorite. Caleb loves pesto. He yes. is a pesto boy. Whole question, do you like pesto? And comment below if you've ever made homemade pesto because that's something I want to learn to do. I think that sounds really cool. The other day for the first time I made my own Alfredo sauce. That turned out really good too. It was, it was really good. Okay. Done. We're definitely eating this again. There she goes, running around the dinner table. Whooping <laughs> her. <laughs> She's so cute. She's getting ready for bed and she said, Mom, I can't 
can't wait to be five. And I said, I know. And she said, because when I'm five, my favorite color is going to be blue. And I was like, oh. Pink streamers. Every single thing for her birthday tomorrow is pink. Because everybody knows Laura's favorite color is pink. But how was I supposed to know that on her birthday, it's going to change to blue? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how she responds. <laughs> it's nice we have Isaac and Elise helping us. Thanks for helping us. I told her that blue was five-year-old color and pink. Well, what you say to her has a strong impact, apparently. Buenas noches, Jayas afuera. And now in English. Good night, Jayas out. We experienced a miracle as a family, and I don't say that lightly. Because it doesn't bite. <laughs> oh, you broke. <laughs>